New details on a story we first brought you last night on 12 News at 10. As a popular local banquet hall prepares to shut its doors for good, we're hearing from its owner on the reasons behind the closure. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni is live in Swansea. She just talked with the owner of the Venus de Milo a short time ago, and this place is a southern New England staple, Anita. That's right, Shannon. Well, this is, is more than just a banquet hall, as you just said. The Venus de Milo has, has, has had the countless memories of Southern New England families for six decades. But it's not all bad news. You'll still be able to get their iconic food just at another restaurant nearby. That was the man, I said. It's the end of an era. And we've been very fortunate to do pretty well in the business for a lot of years. This property started as a bowling alley in 1959. Then the Ferris family transformed it to what ended up being a successful banquet facility. Our yeah, family worked very hard, but it's our people who made us what we are. Owner Monty Ferris says he is closing the business because of major losses due to the pandemic, coupled with his decision to retire. The public's radio political analyst Scott McKay was a writer and producer for the Providence Journal Follies, a former long running political roast held every year at the Venus de Milo. It was just sad that this place that was such a magnet for all kinds of folks in southeastern New England is now unfortunately going to be one of those other places like all Max, where we say, well, you take a left where the Venus used to be. Their iconic food will still be available just at Monty's other restaurant, Jillian's Sports Pub in Somerset. Monty hopes to bring the Venus food to Providence in the future. It was an amazing, amazing uh, one. Uh, the memories, you know, the celebrities and never believe I would see. The 59,000 square foot facility is now up for sale and Monty says he hopes it can be bought and used as another banquet hall. Now deposits for banquets and weddings will be returned and gift certificates will be honored at Jillian Sports Pub owned by the same family. In Swansea, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.